What's up, team? Just want to talk to y'all for a little bit. I checked the mailbox on my way back. Don't look like no mail in there. I want to talk to y'all for a little bit. You know, I was thinking about, like, settling as far as, you know, relationships. And I'm pretty sure I said this before, like, settling to me is not like, you're not a nice person, you don't look good. To me, none of that, none of that settling. I, I see settling like, you're not what I'm looking for, but I'm dating you cause, cause you're here and I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of waiting for what I, that's a better, that's a better uh, description of settling. I'm tired of waiting for what I'm really looking for. Therefore, I'm settling. Don't mean the person don't look good. Don't mean they don't have a good career, good job. I mean, don't mean they don't have it going on. But if you accept what's there and, and don't hold to what you really want, you're set up. I don't mean they're not a good person. They might be good, but they might be good for somebody else. And a lot of times we settle just for that reason because we don't want to be alone. And, and and I've done it before. I dated I dated two women and I was uh and I was miserable dating them. I was miserable. But I didn't I didn't leave them alone because I, w I was settling it and I just didn't want to be alone. And I also counseled people that, that was doing the same thing. Now, now if you're married, I'm not going to tell you to leave your husband. I'm not going to tell you to leave your wife, but somebody you just dating, I'd be like, nah, you, you need to leave them because there's certain things that you know you shouldn't go through. You don't, you shouldn't have to go through, but you're going through it for the sake of not being alone yeah when a person can't see your worth they'll mishandle you and not that they and it could be a nice person but they will mishandle you if they can't see your worth and it's hard for a man that god has not god has not given you you gave yourself it's hard for a man that god has not given you to see your worth if that makes sense. Y'all understand, understand what I'm saying? Y'all dated before. Maybe some of y'all dating now and somebody might be going through this now. Let me tell you that marriage will not make it better. Marriage will not make it better. You, you might think like, okay, if we get married, uh, he'll treat me, he'll treat me better, you know, just, just, see, a, a lot of little stuff we ignore in the beginning, because we, we see it as small, but some of that stuff, it, it's just only the beginning, it's manifesting, it's manifesting now, and it's going to still be there when you get married, but only this time, when you get married, it's going to be magnified, yeah, we ignore little stuff in the beginning, oh, that's nothing, that's nothing, watch this, Oh, he talked to his mother like that because, and watch this, he got a good excuse why he talked to his mother like that. His mother wronged him. His mother did him dirty. His mother alcoholic. But you you fail to realize that one day you gonna be his mother. And he gonna talk to you like that. He gonna curse you out like that. He gonna treat you out. He gonna treat you like that. Stop ignoring signs. In the beginning, you need to be taking notes like, ah, uh, this can't be my husband. Nope, this can't be my wife. Like, why all these men calling her phone? Why all these women calling his phone? Yeah. And ladies, I'm going to say this. I love y'all. You know I love y'all, right? You know I love y'all. Y'all my cousins. And it's mostly women that watch our channel anyway. But ladies, y'all good for settling. I'm going to be honest with y'all. Y'all good for settling. Because you don't want to be alone. Buy yourself a puppy. If you don't want to be alone, buy a puppy. Come on. 
You can have a Boaz. You don't have to have Bozo. You don't have to have a Bozo. You can have Boaz, ladies. Let me tell you, when a man loves you, when he adore you, excuse me, he'll treat you like a queen. Know what I'm saying? Stop settling. You don't have to settle. And see, the reason when you settle, they don't know your value because you don't know it either. It's just some people that should not get the time of day from you. Yeah. Don't mean you better than them. It's just like, okay, let's just say a woman that got it going on. She got a home business. She got, I mean, she dressed nice. She got her own vehicle. She got her own house. She, she just got it going on in life. She got everything straight. Everything lined up in her life. She go to a store some knucklehead on the corner trying to talk to her. His pants are sagging. You can see his boxers. He don't have a job. He hustled. He drank all day, smoked weed all day. What I'm saying is he shouldn't get the time of day. But in some cases like that, you know what happens? especially in the workplace, because you see somebody so regular, you see them every day, is women, y'all let the guy wear you down. It might be no in the beginning. I can't see me with him, no. But then after a while, you listening, you entertaining, you laughing, he, 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 now he got you. Now Bozo got you. Then Bozo gonna give you a baby, Bozo gone. Stop settling, ladies. I used to counsel this girl that um, she was with this guy. She was miserable. She, I mean, she was miserable. But for nothing in the world would she leave him. Now, they wasn't married. They wasn't married. And, um, she would not leave this guy. And, and knew the dirt he did. Because I see it as levels. Okay, I'm talking to you. I'm getting to know you. We're friends. Bow now, we call ourselves dating. Bow now, engage. Bow now, marry. Okay, in the time we're getting to know each other, I should be able to see if I could be married to you. Like, can I see myself married to this person? And most times, ask yourself that question. And sometimes you'll be like, man, I like things about him. I like things about her, but I can't even see myself married to this individual. <laughs> I can't even see myself married to them. I'm going to be honest with y'all. You know, I thank God that I haven't married anyone I dated. And that's no disrespect to them. I said this in another video before, too. I settled. And, and even if they felt like they settled for me too, that wouldn't offend me because there's somebody out there for them. There's somebody out there better for them than me. So yeah, you settled for me. I settled for you. We settled. But cousins, I'm telling y'all don't settle. I'm just rambling and I'm, I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm going in the house. Don't settle. Wait for what God has for you. That way, you ain't got to be sitting somewhere miserable looking at other people's relationship and hashtagging relationship goals. That's nutty anyway. I'm going to tell y'all straight on the down. That's nutty anyway. First of all, you don't know what nobody going through in their house talking about some relationship goals. You praying for somebody else, somebody else fallen relationship. Relationship goals. I don't want nobody else's relationship. God, give us the relationship that we supposed to have. My wife and I. I don't want nobody else's relationship. I don't even like that relationship goals. I don't even say stuff like, it's my favorite couple. What? 
That's nutty. I'm going to tell y'all now. That's, <laughs> that's nutty. That's nutty. Sorry. Sorry. I love y'all. But that's nutty. That's real nutty. Don't look at nobody's relationship and want that. I don't care. I mean, I don't care what they do. Don't look at nobody else's relationship and be like, man, I want that. I want that. God will give you your own. <laughs> yeah, God will give you your own. When you don't know your worth, you will attract people that don't know your worth. And let me tell you something as a man that was once in the world. That was once in the world. And matter of fact, this don't even go for just people in the world anyway, like certain like down here in the carolinas they say jokers like certain jokers know who to approach a man can look at you and how you carry yourself and, and could tell how he can approach you i mean that don't mean he gonna have sex with you but i'm just saying like you can look at a woman and say kind of tell how i could talk to her and, and a man could do that like some men some men that ain't serious about nothing like they just out there playing certain women on how they carry themselves that man will not approach her. He 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 not he won't approach her, and I and I know that for a fact. He will not approach her. It's all about how you carry yourself. It's all about you knowing your worth. And ladies, I want to say this because this is this just hit my mind. Like, if you're not interested in the person. Don't even play them giggly games with them at work. Don't entertain none of that. Because you setting yourself up for a fall. They even listen to that. First of all, shut that down. Shut it down when it starts. And, and, and they'll respect you. People respect you when you know your work. When you shut stuff down. Let me tell you something. Um, there's one job I used to have. And I used to be raw. I used to be raw. Now I use a little more wisdom and I don't like, I don't like profanity and I don't use profanity. I never made a mistake since 2004. I never made a mistake and used profanity. Like I'm so I don't see how people make a mistake and use profanity. I think it's deliberate, but anyway, I used to be a little raw, but now if I'm ministering to somebody that's not saved, I'm, I'm witnessing to them. I won't tell them don't curse around me because the more you tell people, don't do this around me. Don't do that around me. They're not going to want to come around you. And I'm a soul winner. I have one soul so that me and the Lord together have one souls to the kingdom. And if you read my book, you'll see that I'm not talking about one or two people. I'm talking about a lot of people. But anyway, and I used to say to people, as soon as they start cursing, I used to be raw like, I'm saved. Don't curse around me. And you know what? It probably at the same time probably pushed people away and made them not want to come around me. But at the same time, when I shut that down, they gave me respect and they didn't curse around me. But but the only difference now is I don't want to tell people what not to do around me. I want them to see God on my life and not do it around me themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like I told this guy one time, I'm going off topic. We was talking and he was saying, yeah, I walked up on some sinners. They were drinking and smoking and they started hiding their weed. And they beer when I came up. And I told him, you ain't got to do that. I told him, no, what is you doing? I told him, what is you doing? I told him, never tell a sinner not to respect you. They see God in you. Don't tell them not to see God in you. You think I'm going to tell a sinner? I'm going to tell somebody, don't hide your weed. I want you to hide it. Me and God is walking up. Come on. Me and the Lord walking up. Hide it. Because that means you respect me. You ain't doing nothing dishonest to me by hiding your, your, your weed in your bed. No. You telling me you respect me. Alright. I don't want to keep going on and on. Because really, I made I made a three minute message into something long. Alright guys. Don't settle.